Many patients do not find out they have thyroid cancer until after surgery, once the removed tissue has been examined by the pathologist. At this time, patients often find themselves wondering if all the cancer has been removed, the likelihood that the cancer will return and cause recurrence, or the chance that cancer will spread. To provide an understanding of the prognosis for thyroid cancer patients, Physicians use a thyroid cancer specific staging system to classify the disease. There are many different thyroid cancer staging systems that have been developed, but the one that is most commonly utilized is the one described by the American Joint Commission on Cancer, known as the AJCC. The stages are organized as follows. Stage one is the least aggressive type, stages two and three are mildly to moderately more aggressive, and stage four is the most aggressive and could potentially result in death. The commonly accepted staging system is called TNM, which stands for tumor, nodes, meaning lymph nodes, and metastases, which refers to the spread of cancer beyond the local neck region to other areas of the body. In thyroid cancer, disease most commonly spreads to the lungs or bones. The TNN stages are determined by examining a tissue sample of the tumor, while the M classification is usually determined using imaging such as a CT scan, radioactive iodine, or PET scans, which can detect disease in the thyroid and other parts of the body. The number that is assigned to each of these three letters will determine the thyroid cancer stage, which will provide information regarding risk. Each category within the TNM system has subdivisions. The T in TNM refers to the size of the primary tumor within the thyroid gland. A T1A tumor is one centimeter or smaller. A T1B tumor is one centimeter or larger. A T2 tumor is greater than two centimeters, but no larger than four centimeters. A T3 tumor must be greater than four centimeters if limited to the thyroid. However, if the tumor extends minimally beyond the thyroid gland, no matter what the size of the tumor, it is also classified as a T3 tumor. A T4 tumor is defined as a thyroid cancer that more extensively invades into surrounding structures. T4 is further subdivided into T4A, which can be surgically removed, and T4B, which cannot be surgically removed due to extensive involvement of neck tissues. The N part of the classification is divided into N0, which means that no lymph nodes appear to be involved with the cancer at the time of your surgery, and N1, which indicates that one or more nodes did contain cancer. Further classifications of N1 disease exist to define how extensive the lymph node involvement is. If only lymph nodes in the central part of the neck near the thyroid gland are involved, then the tumor is classified as N1A. If lymph nodes are affected by disease further from the thyroid, in the lateral neck or upper chest, it is classified as N1B disease. The absence of metastatic disease beyond the neck is termed M0, while its presence is indicated by M1. As previously mentioned, the M status is not determined based on the analysis of tissue removed from the neck, but rather it is a clinical diagnosis made by a physician after a scan of the entire body is performed. If a body scan is not performed, then the letter X is placed after the M. MX indicates that the status of distant metastases has not been determined. One factor that is yet to be mentioned is patient age. Thyroid cancer outcome is strongly influenced by a patient's age at the time that they are diagnosed with cancer. So cancer staging takes age into account as well. If a patient is 45 years of age or older, he or she will be upstaged to stage three despite having same size and degree of tissue involvement as a younger patient. Research has shown that older patients have additional changes in tumors that cause them to become more aggressive. Researchers are actively trying to identify what causes these changes and to determine if we can modify them to reduce the aggressive behavior. It is important to understand that the stage of a tumor does not change for a patient simply by virtue of growing older. 
The impact of age on staging is based on the age at diagnosis. The purpose of the TNM system is to assist in predicting survival. With low risk of death in patients with T1 through T3 and M0 disease, and higher risk of death in patients with T4 and M1 lesions. Various scoring systems have been developed to predict survival and likelihood of disease recurrence. These often include other clinical information in their calculations. No one system is perfect and each physician will determine his or her preference. Most doctors, however, use the same TNM system. After being classified by the TNM system and considering age, staging is determined. Fortunately, the chances of dying from thyroid cancer are very small. Proper staging of thyroid cancer provides the following survival statistics. The five-year estimated survival of patients with papillary thyroid cancer is near 100% for stage one, near 100% for stage two, 93% for stage three, but only 51% for stage four disease. For follicular thyroid cancer, disease survival is 99% for stage 1, 99% for stage 2, 71% for stage 3, and 50% for stage 4. Recurrence of thyroid cancer is not uncommon and may require additional treatment. Since thyroid cancer tends to grow slowly, these recurrences may not be detected for several years, and in some cases, the cancer may go unnoticed for more than a decade. Therefore, it is important to be able to estimate each patient's risk of recurrence so that the frequency and extent of initial treatment and follow-up care correspond with the likelihood of the disease recurring. The American Thyroid Association, ATA, provides guidelines for the management of differentiated thyroid cancer by classifying patients as low, intermediate, and high risk for recurrence. The 2009 guidelines are as follows. Low risk, no local or distant metastases, which is spread of cancer beyond the neck. All macroscopic tumor removed. No tumor spread into local tissues in the neck. No aggressive histology. If given, no radioactive iodine uptake outside where the thyroid was located in the neck. Intermediate risk microscopic spread into soft tissue near the thyroid, neck lymph nodes involved, radioactive iodine uptake outside the thyroid bed in the neck, aggressive histology or spread into blood vessels, high risk, macroscopic tumor spread, incomplete tumor removal, distant metastases, an unexpectedly elevated thyroglobulin, a tumor indicator in the blood, the guidelines change every two to three years. This information provides a good indication of each patient's cancer stage and risk of recurrence, which is helpful in determining appropriate follow-up testing and surveillance. Patients are seen most frequently for one to two years, then generally have annual office visits with ultrasound imaging for several more years. If the follow-up of thyroglobulin level and the scans reflect a favorable response to the treatment that has been administered, then perhaps your physician will follow you less often after five years. For the small percentage of patients with persistent disease, follow-up is more frequent and testing is more extensive.